so happy that you're here and that we get to spend some time together. It's been a busy day today. So, today's video is going to be story time. I'm going to be telling you guys some story as well as showing you a little tiny crystal ball. But I'll get to that in a minute. So, all of you new people that are here, I see you. Hi guys. Thanks for coming. she's like, oh, didn't I tell you? Would I be so surprised if you did? <laughs> so we ended up going in and they were having a huge sale. So I did pick up a few things, including one for my husband that I gave him already in Clay Angel. Merlinite. Very pretty. Anyways, so my daughter always makes me laugh. Always. And there was this one year. I'm trying to think of which story is better. she learned to talk <laughs> and she was a late talker she really was so if any of you parents are stressing don't worry about it she was a very very late talker and in fact we were due to go to our first speech therapy class with her the next day when I'm not joking she went from nothing and every morning I'd say what would you like for breakfast and then we'd figure it out I would like toast please what what <laughs> up canceling the classes and the next thing I know this kid just made up for it she just stopped like non-stop and it was amazing um, to, to really hear her opinions of things and everything anyways so we had gone shopping and it was summertime and we went to children's place I don't know if you guys have that but we have that here in Canada and 90% of her wardrobe came from children's place or Zellers at the time she put her shirt on and I'm like no absolutely not um, I did have a problem with some of their styles I'm all for expressing yourself but I don't think toddlers have to dress like you know hookers so she had on this halter top that was cut just below and it just didn't look right I'm not I don't slut shame anybody like everybody dress how you want but she kept saying, why can't I have this one? And I'm like, it's not appropriate, you know, for, for childcare. Why can't I? And finally I lost it. And I'm like, cause it looks hoochie and I'm not having you go in there looking hoochie. Okay. So <laughs> come Monday morning, in we go to childcare. And there's another little girl standing there with her mom. You know where this is going. The little girl had on the shirt this is me okay here she is now everything's fine we have to go now bye but not fast enough because i like your shirt i wanted to get that but mom said it was hoochie there's dead silence awkward dead silence the other mom is looking at me i'm looking at my child why did i want you to talk the the teacher is standing there and i'm like well i can't deny it I can't say she misunderstood it and I went for me and her this was my decision the mom looked at me and she goes her grandmother bought it I'm like oh thank god thank god so it wasn't a big fight <laughs> but 
After that, I just said yes or no. And that was the end of it. <laughs> like, um, and then that Christmas, we went early uh, to make sure we had a seat. And we were sitting um, off to the side. And there was a row in front of us. And then my daughter. And we, they were singing Christmas carols before the, the mass started. And she was blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, honey, honey, why don't you just listen to the Christmas music and it'll tell you the whole story about when Jesus was born. I know that story. You want me to tell you? Sure, why not? Okay, so they, Mary and Joseph had, this is honest to God how she told me. Mary and Joseph had to go to another town and they didn't have a car, so they had to ride on a horse. And when they got there, they hadn't made a hotel reservation. She knew the words hotel reservation, okay? Now, my husband has to make hotel reservations for his work quite a bit, so maybe. She goes, and then these three wise guys came and they gave her jewels, Frankenstein, and more. So I'm like, it's gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's not more? It's myrrh. No, it's not myrrh. It's more. He gave more. I said, I don't know who gave more, but it's myrrh. And I was getting frustrated. And she's like, well, maybe he did give more. Who gave the most? I said, I don't know. She goes, so it could have been him. You lied in church. The people in front of us, their shoulders are now shaking. This went on and on, okay? The whole story, I don't even want to talk about. And then she goes, and she just got the baby to sleep when this kid came by to play his drum. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> by now, people are turned around laughing outright and listening. And I said, okay, you know what? That's enough. Let's just listen. Do you want to know about the Christmas tree? Before I could say no, two people in front of me said yes. So there were, there's other stories too. So her daycare had a contest. And the prize was this like five foot bear. She needed another stuffy, like I needed a hole in the head. However, they had to sell chocolate to, um, to get it. So we did sell chocolate. She's very lucky. She's the only kid in this, both sides. Like, my nephews were much older than her, so she she could hit up everybody. And so every day she would come home and talk about her teddy bear. And I'm like, oh, she's in for a rude awakening. But I'm like, finally I sat her down one day. I said, look, the chances of you winning that teddy bear are the same as the other kids. And between the groups, you know, the the baby room, the toddler room, the preschool room and the school age program. I said, there's over a hundred kids, okay? The chances of you winning are not very slim. It is not your bear. I don't want you to call it your bear anymore. And when another child wins it, I want you to congratulate them. Okay, mom, fine. I could hear her as she walked away. I still think it's my bear. It's not your bear. You know where this is going. We go to pick her up the day of the contest. Yeah, she won the damn bear. Yeah. And then we get in the car and she goes, and none of the kids congratulated me. I'm like, oh, Lord, help me. Just, Lord, help me. And then um, when she was about, mm, I guess, six, six or seven, I think, her school was doing a food drive for Christmas. And they had these huge bins set out. And we would bring in the food. So we were explaining to her, um, because every year we would take her with us to buy a toy um, for Toy Mountain. So she understood the concept of giving and um, of helping others. So we were explaining about how we can buy groceries, but sometimes people aren't that lucky. And, you know, we help out because that's what being part of a community does. So this one day we're getting ready and I'm upstairs and I can hear thumping and dragging and banging and thumping and dragging. And I'm like, what's going on down there? And she goes, nothing. Oh, okay. And then I always worry about nothing. Okay. Nothing. When it's sing song like that, for all you new moms, if you hear nothing, worry. So I go downstairs. My pantry is empty. 
there is not a canned good left, okay? They're all in this big bag. I'm like, what you doing? And she said, the bin at school is only half full and today's the last day and you said we could buy groceries. Well, I did say that, didn't I? Okay, get yourself out of this one, Kim. So I said, okay, but do you think I could just take out enough for this weekend until we can grocery shop so, you know, we can eat too? Okay, so I did. Um, and we ended up donating the bag. The reason the bin was only half full is that they had done a pickup the day before as well. <laughs> so, but that was, that was my baby. That's, um, and then... We encourage joking, and both my husband and I have very dry senses of humor, and I am incredibly sarcastic, and my daughter has picked up on this. So she was doing something, and I said, no, the blue one, honey, can you bring me the blue one? And she brought me something. I said, this is purple, this is blue. Oh, okay. I said, can you see the purple? Yes, I see the purple. I like purple better. I said, okay, but I said blue. Maybe you have to go back to kindergarten to learn your colors. And she's like, ha, ha, ha. So then, a couple days later, my husband takes a dish out of the dish out of the cupboard. And I guess it had been, when I picked up the plates, I guess it was stuck together. Like it didn't get perfectly cleaned and I didn't notice it. So she looks at me and she goes, Oh, maybe you need to go to maid school to learn to clean. Okay. I was like, what did you say? <laughs> and my husband stood in front of her. He goes, okay, come on. To be fair, <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I started to laugh and then we kind of had a discussion about what sarcasm versus I'm going to kill you. <laughs> okay, so that was funny. Um, she is such a joyful kid. Like, I love who she is. She's not a kid. She's 18 now, but I love who she is. Um, she was in a race one day. They had made it to the, I don't know, regionals, I guess it is. No, she wasn't the fastest kid, for sure. But she made it. She worked hard. She got there. A girl had fallen, and she stopped and said, Are you okay? Because she was crying. And she goes, well, I'm never going to win now. I'm just quitting. And she said, no, no, you can't quit. You have to come. Come on, I'll walk with you. And so she, they came in very close to the end, but I was so proud of her. So proud of her. Not so much the other girl who ran ahead, so she got placed before my daughter. But okay, whatever, you know. That's her mother's problem. Uh, and yeah, like there's just... She volunteers at our church. This is the first year she stopped. She was an altar server for 11 years, um, which I think is pretty freaking amazing. Um, she holds her own against anyone. She will go toe to toe in an argument if she thinks she's right, which is good and bad. As a mother, it drives me crazy. As a mother looking at her daughter who's going out into the world, I'm very happy for it. Don't just fall in line, question authority, be able to say no, you know, I, I want that for her. So yeah, so that's my baby. And I hope she had an amazing birthday yesterday. We're going out for a, a nice fancy dinner tonight. And yeah, I, I just love her. So if you've got kids, if you've got your mom still with you, give them a hug, tell them you love them. Okay, now let me show you the crystals I got. They're in a paper bag, I think. Oh, there's what I'm looking for. This is, I believe it's called selenite, and this helps charge your crystals. But what I love, and this was $10, which I think is pretty good 
for the weight of it. And it's a half moon. And I just think it's so pretty, you guys. And it's iridescent and opaque. And I just love it. Just love it. Now, I do know there's a way to charge it so that it can charge the rest. And I have to look that up. Now this one, I forget the name of it. Um, I do forget the name of it. But it's blue. I think it's a beautiful blue. What I love about this one and why I picked it up, it's amazing for group work. Okay? So, because we're a community, we're a part of a group, I thought having this beside me when I'm talking to you guys will help protect all of us. And... It will encourage connection with all of us. So, but isn't that a beautiful color? Because you guys know I love my navy. But I just think that's so pretty. So, so pretty. Did I show you my, my rings? I got this ring to tape a Valentine's video. It's just a plastic ring I got from Timu for like a dollar. I freaking love it. Okay? I absolutely love it. And this one, it's supposed to be a thumb ring, but my thumb is very small and I had to squish it just to fit, get it to fit on this finger too. Um, so yeah, but I like it too. And then this one, I forget the name of it guys, I'm sorry. But look at it guys, look at that. I love this. I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. It's going right here with the rest. I do like my pretty things, you know. <laughs> so that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I love you. I value you. I honor you. I'm so very, very glad that you were born.